so I took the Dremel with the sanding disc and just finished taking out the hole, got them perfect for the size of the of the headlights, both the high beam and the low beam. The lights themselves need to be modified slightly. One of the where it's marked top on the on the back of here, this tab needs to just be cut off. This one's plastic on the low beam. You can see it's a low beam because you can't see the bulb. The plate in there blocks it. And just cut it off with a hacksaw. And the little ears next to the the, the attachment screws just get cut off. That was what was there down there, that little circle. And you can see on this one, it says top right down inside of there. And that has to be the top of the lens so that it shines the correct way. So that gets cut off. On the high beam, only one of the tabs needs to be cut off. Same thing, it's aluminum just with a hacksaw and it gets cut off and that's now ready to pop in there. So take a look at the, the uh, low beam, which I put on the inside. Just fits better. And it comes through there, through the hole, and looks pretty nice. It's a little fine tuning, a little sanding of, of it. I'm gonna be ready for for primer and all the cups need to be sanded back too because the sander, the dual action sander doesn't, won't reach into those spots without taking out way too much material but the headlights are ready to go. And the, the um, turn signal and park light will just need, I use an LED, an aftermarket and it just needs a hole drilled down where that black mark is. If you're using the ones with the kit, it's just a center hole right there and the wires will go right through there.